Hello and welcome. Let's play Octopath Traveler 1. So we're getting to the conclusion of Hottest Story. Chapter 4. In Still Snow, Hanna did meet with the seer Susanna, who told her of a plan to protect her from Red Eye's fell curse. Never did she expect to find a dragon in those dark woods. Very few hunters in history have felled such beast. But Hanna now stands among them. Now I can finally face Red Eye and bring Master back. When leaving the village, she was met by one of El Liza's men, who told her where she might find the fiend. Now the die is cast. Ready to face her fate, she joins and journeys to Marceline, the jewel of the desert. Here. So this is Marceline. Eliza must be here somewhere. I see. Too hot for thee, girl? I cannot blame thee. The sun is merciless, even without a coat of fur. <laughs> but I shall stay by my side. Thou art a stalwart friend. Come in, letting us find Eliza and then some shade. <laughs> oh, banter. We made it. Water. I need water. This heat is killing me. But I guess this is all my fault. I should have stocked in the water. Tis not that bad. Stay in thy, stay in thy whimpering. It's just, I'm not used to this. I'm a merchant, not a strong hunter like you. Hearest thou, Lynn, complaining? I'm not a giant leopard, either. There, there, Tressa. Thou art a good girl. It will be all right. Er, meow? All right, what's your story, guy? Nothing. I can acquire a mother's people. Guys, a long time ago. Right, that's where I got the dragon vest and dragon seat. I don't know if I've gone on the other side of this door. Some stuff that I'm going to steal at a later date. No, no. Steal the shit now. Where's the Oh god damn it. My hat hey, pardon me, my lady, but are you haunted of the dark wood? Just so I am. I have come to meet her with Eliza. Of course. Ah, splendid. We have fair we have fair been waiting your arrival. Please come with me. We have fair been Begging your pardon, Lady Eliza, but Hana the Huntress has arrived. Thank you. Good, thank you, sir. Good to see you again, my friend. Pray tell me of your quest. Have you found a way to cure Zonta? Yes. I have. The curse can be broken, but only by slaying the monster that caused it. Hmm? And all is not lost, for we have found the beast. It lurks in an ancient ruins to the west of here. The locals call it Grimsand. And yet, how do you mean to defeat Red Eye? Even Zonta himself has was no match for the fiend. If thou wilt. I found a way to protect thyself from this curse. Excellent. Truly, that we may all may have cause to hope after all. I am ready. I will leave for the ruins at once. I think not. Wait, hot. There is one more thing you should know. When Red Eye entered the ruins, many of the monsters that once lived there fled before it. They began to roam the surface, threatening travelers and farmers alike. General Lenar led the city guard into the sands to drive them off. Hmm? And? They have yet to return. 
plan was to march towards the ruins and dispatch any monsters roaming the surface. I scarce imagine they would venture within, but... Not even Zanta was the equal of that beast. No matter how many men he marches with, General Lenar cannot hope to defeat it. Hmm. Then let us pray and they do not find it. In the Grimsand Ruins, people are making poor decisions. <laughs> Heaven save us, my legs turn to stone. God's teeth, this cannot be. <laughs> this is a massacre. Fall back, fall back, I say. Captain Ruff. Get the men to safety. Ah! Oh, sir. Listen up. I'll keep the bees busy. Damnation! You must not, sir. Not alone. Let me... Oi! You have your orders, Captain. Go. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> what say you, sir? Provoke like a pro. Side quest for somebody who's asking about that. Another hidden item. Alright. Ethereum and Barricade in the group here. We've got some passes to eat. And some shit to steal. Alright, how long? What the fuck? Huh. Have you heard the hunting party has returned? Oh. Has it been some time, has it not? <sighs> Indeed, I fear the worst. <sighs> the soldiers have marched against the monsters. They have returned. And yet, what is the bodeful mood that pervadeth the air? <coughs> Ilio, where's my Ilio? Why are they back now? I saw monsters roaming in scores around the ruins just, the, just this morn. Ugh. It was only a matter of time before they reached the town. <laughs> Father's dead, say it is not so. So then... So the battle is lost. Indeed. Ah, uh, Hana, there you are. We make for the palace to discuss our next move. This is Captain Raff. He says the regiment was nearly annihilated. Hmm. You must be the apprentice of the great hunter, Zanda. Many of my men die today. I cannot let their sacrifice be in vain. We shall rearm, re-equip, and do whatever, whatever is required to bring down the god's damned food. Could you? Pray lend us your aid. Yes. Of course, tis why I'm here. I am most pleased to see you return safe, Captain. I fear there is no pleasure in it for me, Your Highness. I fled like a coward. You did your duty, Captain. Without you to bring us word of what happened, we would be all but doomed. Now, we would hear your report. By your leave, Your Majesty. There were packs of monsters roaming in the vicinity of the ruins. The men fought bravely and succeeded in culling their numbers. Emboldened, we dared to venture into the ruins themselves. Twas there that red-eyed beast came upon us. A ferocious creature of a size and strength I've not seen. But that was not the worst of it. Oh no. 
any soldier that met its blood-red gaze was turned to stone. Living statues, insensible to all around them. Tell me one thing, Captain. Your Highness? Did these men fight bravely to the end? <sighs> Everyone. I see. That will be all, Captain. However, this matter is not over. Our fallen men must be avenged. Begging your highness's leave, we can do better than revenge. If the red-eye beast itself is slain, your men will be released from its curse. Is this true? But you heard yourself. This fiend wields terrible powers. What hope have we of slaying it when a single glance invites certain doom? I can protect myself from the petrification. By your leave, I shall fight the beast alone. Can you defeat it? I swear on my life. I will bring the beast down and free your men from its baleful curse. What is your name? I am called Hamid. Hamid? I see the glitter of steel in your eye. Resolve and strength in equal measure. Each time a menace has been visited upon this realm of mine, a hero with the same steel in their eye has stepped forward to save it. This time, you will be that hero for us. By your leave, I shall take the rest of the men and drive off the monsters outside the ruins. The Knights Ardant shall sally with you. We shall escort Hanit safely to the entrance. Very good. Hunt, slay this beast and return safely to us. I shall. Hunt. We may yet succeed, Hunt. Now we have the might of a whole city behind us. Mm. King Callum is a forthright man. He looked me square in the eye and entrusted me with the future of his realm. It is the mark of a great leader to have in the courage to make to making it difficult choices. <laughs> courage, nay. Wisdom, I say. The wisdom to look into a young woman's heart and see the strength and resolve within. Well, well. Lowly hunter though I am. Girl, you killed a dragon. These are good people with a good king. They deserve my help as much as anyone in the world. Indeed. Out here in the desert, people must work hard to save every drop of water they find. They learn that they must work together and share their fortunes and burdens alike. They must trust each other and work as hard, work as one, or die. The harsh sands have shaped them into loyal, generous, and honest folk. I see. Then it would behoove, it would behoove in me to not... Then it would behoove in me ill to let them down. Tis as master always saith. Betrayest not the trust of others, lest thou betrayest thine own honor. Well said. Wise words. Prevail and you will save not only your master, but a king and his people. Mm. Yes, I will not rest until the red eye is slain. Can we please go fight the goddamn thing now? But that'll not be an easy one. Steal yourself as best you can. Speak to me when you are ready. Banter? Of course there's banter! <sighs> that look is deep in thought. My apologies. Seeing the king, it reminded me of my days gone by. He has the same look about him as King Alfred, the last king of Hornburg. What manner of look is that? That of a man who looks you straight in the eye and speaks the plain and honest truth. A 
man who believes in himself and the words he speaks. And because he believes in them, others can, too, without fear of betrayal. I see. I, too, had the same feeling about the king. That is good to hear. Then you need... Then you need worry about nothing but your quest. Indeed. Thank you, thee. More banter! <laughs> Betray... Betray is not the trust of others, eh? First and foremost, I hunt Red Eye to save my master from his fate. But I also will to help in the people of this land. I cannot afford to fail. My quarry must be slain. My honor as a hunter demandeth it. When I set my sights on my quarry, I'm as dogged as you. Different story, different sort of quarry, though. Thou speakest of thievery. Eh, it doesn't sit right with you, eh? To think we're more like than different. If thou choosest to take pride in thy work, I shan't not tell thee thou art wrong. Choose to take pride. That's an interesting way to put it. Thou canst be proud of thy deeds or not. The choice is thine. Now there's something no one can steal. What's that? Another's pride. Alright. Can I rob you? No. Any fools in here that I can take stuff from? This is a stupid story. Listen. You say to listen, request the president's brother to death. I don't want to love called Laura. I suppose the name means nothing to you, but before I die, I need to know whatever happened to her, please. There you go. Found Laura? Please, you must tell me everything. Ha, huh, so she did. Got married and even went and had a kid, huh? Of course she did. A woman like that gets snatched up in no time. She had no reason to hang around waiting for fools who've thrown everything away. I was a weak man. Once I strayed off the path of what's right and good, I couldn't seem to find my way back to it. I was once a guardsman in a certain town, but I had a problem with taking wagers. I couldn't win. Ended up in debt and everything went right there. I was out of control. I even lost myself. Laura, when all she did was ever, all she did was worry over me. No, I didn't lose her. I ran away and left her. And all I did from the day I, I left her was get deeper and deeper into trouble. Kevin, time to go. Yeah, I know. Don't ever become like me. Regrets always come too late. But, you know, I'm glad I at least got to find out about Lara. I'm glad I can meet my eye, meet my end knowing that she's happy. Thank you. God, that took a fucking chapter one quest right there. All right anybody up here worth stealing from, so down we go. Alright, let's go back to town and steal the things I was going to steal. Beat up that guy standing in front of the door. How difficult is it to steal this guy's eye? Not at all. There's somebody else around here with a bunch of shit, too. That was just I still can't fight this dude? Fucking love you, Oberg. Son of a bitch. What animals do I have? I have... Ugh. Not really anything good. Fuck it, let's go. Provoke. Rip. Let us begin. Hot to get her ass beat. Let the hunt begin. I hope I can poison this asshole. Let the hunt begin. <laughs> Let my arrow fly and come. Oh. Good. Come in, if thou What next? Let him 
the hunt beginning. Let's try the gooey slot. Oh my god, that's about fucking. I hate provoke so much. Letting the hunt begin. This whole shit right here is that Volbaric would absolutely crush this guy. And here I am, sending my shitty fucking discount pet at this dude while I get knocked unconscious for three rounds. Brain bash. 750 fucking damage from a fully charged up god provoking Octopath 1 is so, so dumb. I never noticed this. Try this. Look at that, dude. 
So so large, yes. Yeah. Try and this. Come and get that dead. See even below half. Poison. Have some poison. Please. Try and this. Thank you. What next? Oh. Well, that's game. This is gonna kill me. I'm actually going to make a cut here. Uh, we'll just resume it on the next episode. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.